Let's learn the names of all of this heavy equipment, and let's learn what each is used for, right here and right now. Stay here for the next 20 minutes, and let's feed our hungry brains with lots of knowledge. We are hungry, squishy, brain. We feed on knowledge. What is this? This is a tractor. What is this? This is a big rig. What is this? This is a delivery van. What is this? This is a roll-off truck. And this is a roll-off container. What is this? This is a backhoe loader. This is the backhoe. And this is the loader. What is this? This is an articulated hauler. Yes, this is a dump truck, that's right. But this type of dump truck is called an articulated hauler. What is this? This is a bulldozer. What is this? This is a skid steer loader. The front wheels do not turn, it steers by skidding. And this is the loader. What is this? This is a mini excavator, and it's mini, because it's small compared to regular sized excavators. An average height person standing next to this mini excavator is about this tall. What is this? This is an excavator. The height of the cab is about 9 feet tall, so an average size person standing next to it would be about this tall. This excavator is considered small size when compared to all excavator sizes. What is this? This is an excavator, and based on its weight, this excavator is considered medium size. And this is an articulated hauler, which is a type of dump truck. And here, the excavator is dumping a load of dirt into the bed of the hauler. What is this? This is a scraper, and down here is a blade that is lowered down to the ground and scrapes off uneven or raised areas of dirt. What is this? This is a track loader. It's called this because this is the track. And this is the loader. This is the bucket. And these are the teeth. What is this? This is a concrete mixer. This back part is called a drum, and it rotates around and around, which then mixes the ingredients inside, which are made up of cement, water and gravel or small stones, so therefore, cement is a component of concrete, and the final mixture is called concrete. And here is concrete being poured out onto the ground to make a foundation. What is this? These are cranes, and there are three of them, one, two, and three. They are used to lift up and move around heavy objects on large construction sites and to lift up objects high up onto multiple stories of a building during construction. What is this? This is a demolition excavator, and it has a giant claw here that the operator can open and close. So the claw is tearing apart pieces of the building to take down the building, or demolish the building. What is this? This is a dump truck. It holds lots of dirt or rocks or construction waste and hauls it all away. 
What is this? This is a garbage truck. And more specifically, do you know what type of garbage truck this one is? It has arms and forks in the front, so this is a front loader garbage truck. What is this? This is an excavator, yes, of course, but do you know what size of excavator? This is a giant excavator, which means that it is huge. The top of the cab here is 25 feet above the ground. That is enormous. An average sized person standing next to it like this would only be about this tall. So amazing. What is this? This is a trencher, and it digs out long narrow trenches out of the bare ground. Look at all of these teeth here. It's like a giant chainsaw for the ground. What is this? This is a log grapple excavator, which means that this is an excavator that grabs logs and lifts them up to move them around, and it uses these claws here, called a grapple. What is this? This is a road roller, or you can just call it a roller, you can also refer to this as a compactor or even call it a roller compactor. It is used to roll over dirt or asphalt to compact the surface to flatten and strengthen the surface. What is this? This is a wheel loader. Because it uses wheels to move around, and this is the loader. What is this? This is also a wheel loader, and this one is dumping sand out onto a large pile. What is this? This is a garbage truck, yes indeed, very good. And do you know what type of garbage truck this is? It has a grabber, here on the street side. So this garbage truck is a side loader. What is this? This is a dump truck, but this is no ordinary dump truck. This one is huge, gigantic, massive. The top of the cab here is almost 19 feet up from the ground, that is about two stories tall, just unbelievable. An average size person standing next to this dump truck would be about this tall. This thing is huge. What is this? This is a garbage truck. And more specifically, what kind of garbage truck is this? There are two workers on the back of this garbage truck, and this is where the hopper is as well, the hopper is where the waste is put into. So this garbage truck is a rear loader garbage truck. What is this? This is a hydraulic cylinder. And inside the cylinder is this piston rod, and at the end of the piston rod, which you can't see, is the piston. And inside the empty spaces within the cylinder gets filled pressurized hydraulic fluid, which is pumped in and out of these two ports. And hydraulic cylinders and pressurized hydraulic fluid are what powers the heavy lifting or heavy moving used by the heavy equipment shown in this video. Take, for example, this backhoe loader. There are two hydraulic cylinders here, one on each side, which powers the two loader arms. And there are two hydraulic cylinders here, which powers the loader bucket. And there is a hydraulic cylinder here, which powers the arm, and a hydraulic cylinder here, which powers the bucket. What is this? This is a motor grater, or a road grater. And look here, this is called the blade, and with this blade, this machine levels out dirt surfaces in preparation of roads or other construction sites, in order to get an even surface. What is this? This is a hay baler, the yellow equipment, being pulled by a green tractor. The hay baler scoops up the hay which is laying all over the ground, and forms it into bales, which are these round things, which makes it easier to transport and store the hay. What is this? This is a wheel loader with a log grapple attachment that is grabbing a hold of a load of logs. What is this? 
This is a wheel loader dumping a bucket full of gravel into the bed of a large dump truck. What is this? This is a trencher, and the shape of this cutter is a circle. This trencher digs deep and narrow holes in the ground called trenches, using these really large and powerful teeth. What is this? This is a tractor, and this one looks just like a wheel loader. But this is a tractor with a loader attachment, which is this arm here, and bucket here, attached to the front of this tractor. What is this? This is a side loader garbage truck, because the grabber, here, is on the side of the truck. What is this? This is a road roller or just a roller. This cylinder in the front is so heavy that it's able to flatten out the gravel beneath it. What is this? This is a roll-off truck. And this is a roll-off container. What is this? This is a front loader garbage truck. And this one has a carry can attached to its forks in front to be able to pick up residential trash carts with the grabber here. What is this? This is a rear loader garbage truck because waste is loaded into the hopper here, which is at the rear of this truck. And here is a green dumpster about to be tipped up and emptied out into the hopper. What is this? This is a dump truck. This is the cab. And this is the bed. You can see that there are a lot of wheels on this dump truck. Do you see how this wheel is raised up off the ground? This is called a pusher axle. It's a pusher axle because it's in front of the rear wheels. It's also referred to as a lift axle because it lifts up off the ground. If this pusher axle were located behind the rear wheels, it would be called a tag axle. This pusher axle is lowered down to the ground when extra support is needed for a heavier load that the rear wheels alone cannot handle. What is this? This is a rear loader garbage truck, because waste is loaded into the hopper here, which is at the rear of this truck. What is this? This is a motor grater, or a road grater. What is this? This is a rear loader garbage truck, because the hopper is in the back of the truck, which is where the waste goes. And this rear loader is different than the other ones we've seen. This rear loader has two hoppers, and two containers, so it can carry two different types of waste in its two separate containers. What is this? This is a red tractor, and it is pulling a tiller. The tiller breaks up the hard soil so that seeds can be planted in the softer soil. What is this? This is a side loader garbage truck, because the grabber, here, is on the side of the truck. What is this? This is a rear loader garbage truck, because the hopper is in the back here, where the waste goes into. What is this? This is an excavator with a jackhammer attachment, or you can call it a breaker hammer attachment, because the powerful hammer breaks up hard surfaces as the tip moves up and down really fast and with a lot of power. What is this? This is a mini excavator, and it's mini because it's small compared to regular sized excavators. What is this? This is an excavator and it's grabbing a hold of a giant slab of concrete. It can do this because there is an attachment here, called a thumb, which allows the bucket to grab a hold of large objects. What is this? This is a really big excavator. An average-sized person standing next to this excavator would only be about this tall. 
Just look at how giant the bucket is. What is this? This is a track loader. It's called this because this is the track. And this is the loader. What is this? This is a bulldozer. Look how tough it looks. This is the track. And this is the blade. Notice how this front part is not a bucket. Bulldozers do not lift up any material. This is how bulldozers are different from loaders. Loaders lift up material and dump it out. Bulldozers, on the other hand, only push material away from somewhere, such as dirt or rocks. This back part is called the ripper, and it's used to rip into the ground to break it up. What is this? This is a demolition excavator, and it has a giant claw here that the operator can open and close. So the claw is tearing apart pieces of the building to take down the building, or demolish the building. What is this? This is a dump truck, with its bed raised all the way up, and it's dumping out a load of dirt into a large pile. Notice here, this is a hydraulic cylinder that is lifting up the very heavy bed, by using the power of pressurized hydraulics. What is this? This is a small excavator digging up a strip of asphalt with its powerful bucket and teeth. Notice the hydraulic cylinder here. And here. And there are two hydraulic cylinders here. Inside each cylinder is pressurized hydraulic fluid, and this is what gives this excavator its power to perform such powerful work. What is this? This is a rear loader garbage truck. This is the hopper where all of the garbage goes into. And here are two trash cart tippers. This big metal plate is called the slide blade, since it slides up and down. And this big metal plate is called the swing blade, since it swings out and in, rotating from a fixed point. What is this? This is a small excavator, and this one also has a thumb attachment on its bucket, so that it can grab and lift up objects, such as large stones. This excavator also has a blade attached to its front, so that it can clear away dirt and rocks with this blade. What is this? This is a rear loader garbage truck. But this is a smaller one that we are used to seeing. This container area is smaller, and it is mounted on top of a pickup truck chassis. What is this? This is a medium-size excavator. And it is taking apart, or demolishing, a two-story building. It can do this because it has an attachment on it called a grapple, which can grab a hold of pieces of the building and pull the building apart. What is this? This is another medium-size excavator. And this one has an attachment on it for cutting. This cutter attachment is called shears. And here, the shears are cutting up a big pile of metal rebar. What is this? This is a mini excavator, and this one has an attachment on it, here. This is a jackhammer, or breaker hammer, attachment, called such because it is used to break up a hard surface such as the asphalt that you see here, and it uses a rapid hammering movement, which is a quick up and down movement, and it uses a lot of force. What is this? This is a wheel loader. And it's scooping up dirt with its large bucket. What is this? This is a large wheel loader. It's so large that it needs steps here and here to climb up high to walk along the platform, and it needs handrails for safety because it's so large and high up off the ground. This wheel loader is dumping a load of dirt and very large rocks into the bed of a very large dump truck. This dump truck is so big that it is 17 feet from the top of the bed canopy, here, to the ground. That's almost two stories tall.
This dump truck is so big that it also needs all of these steps to climb up onto the platform here to get inside the cab. The top of the cab on this wheel loader is almost 19 feet up from the ground, that is very tall. We hope you have learned a lot from this video. Please hit like and subscribe, that helps a lot. And thank you for watching. We are hungry, squishy, brain. We feed on knowledge.